now on Coast TV News. On this first alert day, a classic nor'easter brings unprecedented chaos to our front door. I'll have the details on where this monster sized storm is going next. And up and down the coast, it's not just going to hit us here. This stormy weather is going to have an up impact along the east coast. Dagsboro fire, you can see this house just overtaken by flames. We'll tell you where it happened. And tragic accident, a trooper hit a pedestrian. And the details of this story are tough to hear what we know so far and what happens next. This is Coast TV News at 6. Good evening, I'm Charlie Sakaitis. Welcome to Coast TV News at 6. We begin tonight with weather. Let's go ahead and take a live look outside. You can see some of the raindrops on our camera down there in Ocean City. And let's go to Chief Meteorologist Paul Williams right off the top. We've been tracking this strong nor'easter for just about the last four to five days, and it is moving right in on schedule. We have wave upon wave of heavy downpours, so you've just probably started to hear a lot of this rain beginning to crank up. Heavy downpours making its way through Frankfurt as well as Selbyville. Most of it is marching its way to the north at approximately 30 to 35 miles per hour. Relatively fast moving rain. As far as embedded thunderstorms are concerned, we have to travel well to our southwest right now for the brunt of the storm where we have the worst of the storm is to our southwest. But this is where we're located. This is where the center of the storm is located, and this is all beginning to ease its way to the north. Now, we're looking like we're on the outer edge of this storm so far, but that outer edge is just enough to bring us enough misery. Now, we haven't measured much in the way of rain, about a quarter of an inch for us actually uh, along Ocean City, but we're looking for one to three inches near Ocean City and two to four inches or possibly even more throughout a good portion of Sussex County. So the chances of flooding is going to be moderate from Lures down to Long Neck, minor along the entire coast as a result of the amount of rain we're expecting at the very least two inches in most areas. That's also why right now we have active watches all over the place. First of all, we do have uh, flood watch that's throughout all of Sussex County right now. And then to our southwest, we're seeing the heavy downpours making its impact throughout Princess Anne along Highway 13, Eden, and up towards the Salisbury area. And then right along the coast, we have gale wind warnings. We're looking for 40 mile per hour wind gust or stronger as a result of this storm as it continues to push its way throughout our region. And this warm front is helping to actually add fuel to this fire, so to speak. Now, coming up, we're going to talk about how this storm fire will continue to set a blaze particularly after about midnight between three and four o'clock is going to be the witching hour of the storm. I'm going to explain in more detail what I'm talking about. So it's really important. You go ahead, scan that corner, scan the, for the, uh, the app application because you're going to need it for late tonight. It's going to be really dicey for late tonight, Charlie. Thank you, Paul. And we're going to go ahead and take a live look now at the Bay Bridge. Paul was just talking about all this weather in the area and you can see it here on the Bay Bridge, MDOT wants to warn drivers about slippery conditions and that weather is now hitting us. They say it's important to reduce your speed, give more space to the cars in front of you. If you're going to be out there driving, make sure you're doing it safely. And weather is not just an issue for us here on Delmarva. Millions of Americans along the East Coast are bracing for this powerful storm just a week before Christmas Eve, a time when many are traveling out, shopping, enjoying the holiday festivities. Jen Sullivan has details. Powerful winds and heavy rains battering much of the East Coast Sunday. More than 15 million Americans under the threat for severe weather from Florida all the way up the East Coast to Massachusetts. We're going to have some heavy rain and winds. New York City clouded by gray sky Sunday. The Big Apple issuing a travel advisory through Monday as the city braces for wind gusts up to 60 miles per hour and heavy rains that could trigger flooding. City agencies are working hard to be prepared with coordinated, but we need you to do your part. The severe weather coming a week before Christmas Eve, as many people are out shopping or enjoying holiday festivities. Earthcam showing a packed Times Square despite the storms. The excessive rain is expected to cause inland and coastal flooding in some areas. This same storm system pummeling parts of Florida Saturday, bringing high surf, strong winds and torrential rain. This is a tropical storm. It is rare for this time of the year. 
Miami-Dade County Department of Emergency Management warning residents of flooded roadways. In an area that sees many tourists this time of year, the rain dampening their fun in the sun. We definitely would have spent more time in the sun and now we're just trying to go out when it's not raining. We're not thrilled about it, but we're making the best of it. In New York, I'm Jen Sullivan reporting. New tonight, we have details about a tragic, deadly accident involving a trooper, a pedestrian, and two other vehicles. This all happened around 7.30 p.m. on Saturday near the Economy Inn off South DuPont Boulevard. And listen to these details. A trooper was driving north on South DuPont Lane. Behind that trooper was a Toyota and a Kia. A 26-year-old woman from Smyrna walked into the road, got hit by the trooper. That woman was then run over by both the Toyota and the Kia that were behind the trooper. She died. This was not a designated crossing area. It's unclear if alcohol was involved. So what happens next? Well, we contacted Delaware State Police. They say the investigation is ongoing. Interviews are being conducted with the trooper and the other drivers. The trooper, after the fact, was taken to an area hospital. The other drivers were not injured. No names have been revealed at this time. New tonight, a look at this house absolutely engulfed in flames. This just happened after 2 a.m. in Dagsboro. The two-story home was in the area of Nine Foot Road and Hickory Hill Road. It took multiple crews four hours to battle the blaze. No word yet on the cost of the damage or what the cause of the fire itself was. Still to come, we're going to look at tonight's big matchup, the Ravens and the Jaguars. And next, we have an update on a deadly crash from Saturday. The name of the victim has been released. Stay with us. Coast TV News will be right back. On November 1st, 2023, the State of Delaware Consumer Protection Unit implemented new regulations to reduce fraudulent practices by home improvement contractors in the first state. To protect you and your home, know the law. Always verify the contractor's professional licensing at contractorregistry.delaware.gov. Don't fall for just licensed and insured. Always get a detailed scope of work. And remember, bargain basement prices may lead to yard sale quality. Peace of Mind, brought to you by Morse Roofing and Siding. Come, rain or shine, I'll cover you up and calm the skies. As long as you God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember that Kuhn's Jewelers has your back this holiday. From rings to bracelets, earrings to and pendants that are bold. Think of Kuhn's for the silver and the gold. Silver and gold, think of Kuhn's for the silver and the gold. Make a big impression this year with a little box from Kuhn's. Enjoy 20% savings on all jewelry in stock through Christmas as our gift to you. The new Upscale OC Chopsticks Asian Bistro is the place to go for fresh, hand-selected ingredients used to create the most delicious Asian delicacies. Come dine in, have a drink, and let our skilled chefs prepare your authentic Thai, Chinese, and Japanese dishes. At OC Chopsticks, we take what was good and make it better. Sushi rolls, noodle soups, General Tso's chicken, you see where we're going. Anything made fresh is better. Serving lunch and dinner daily, located at the Ocean City Outlets. OC Chopsticks Asian Bistro, we stay fresh. This is Coast TV News at 6. We have an update to a story we first brought you yesterday. This is in relation to a deadly crash that took place here in Milton. Delaware State Police say it happened around 1.35 p.m. Saturday on the Milton Ellendale Highway just west of Gravel Hill Road. We now know the name of the man who was killed in that accident. 
It was 47-year-old Terrence Perry of Bridgeville. According to the report, Perry was the passenger in a truck that, for unknown reasons, ran off the road and crashed into a large tree. The 57-year-old driver of that truck and the other passenger, a 60-year-old man, were both also taken to area hospitals. Their names have not yet been released and the investigation is ongoing. The Salisbury Police Department is looking for a missing person pictured on your screen here. Chenet Jean is last seen near the 400 block of Patterson Avenue. He's 25 years old, six foot tall, 170 pounds. Last seen wearing a blue sweatshirt with a hood and a book bag. He is considered critically missing due to an intellectual disability. If you have any information, please contact the Salisbury Police. Well, we're about to feel the wrath of the strongest nor'easter to hit the East Coast in the last two years. Not exactly the gift you'd like under the tree, but it's here and we're tracking it for you. Here's the latest look at the wind gust, and we're expecting wind gusts up to even 65 miles per hour along the coast. We have details on this nor'easter impacting us right now coming up in a moment, so please don't go anywhere. It is important to have a supportive employer in your corner, a company that offers on-site health care to save you time and money. That's right, access to a doctor's office while at work at no cost to you. Work schedules to fit your lifestyle, matched 401k to prepare you for retirement, paid vacation, and more. A company that you can count on and grow with. A company that you can have a career with. An employer like Amic Farms. Visit countonamic.com to apply today. Windsor Teak Furniture Thermic Ireland offers the world's best outdoor extension tables with 10 different versions in stock. Tables come with two built-in butterfly leaves that can create three different sized tables and allows you to open and close in 10 seconds. Tables starting at 66 inches up to 138 inches long and can seat from 6 to 16 people. We have a table for you. Drop by our showroom and smell the teak or check us out at windsorteakfurniture.com and remember teak lasts a lifetime. Moments like this, you're faced with an important question. If a ball lands in a cup and no one else sees it, does it count? You bet your sweet five iron it does. Somewhere to smile about, Ocean City, Maryland. Oh wait, he's still going. Okay, nice. When you're ready to build an extraordinary custom home or an exceptional commercial building, Brendan T. Warfel is here for you. From high-end residential homes to customized commercial facilities, Brendan T. Warfel will provide you with honest and upfront pricing, personal service, and stunning finished products. Choose quality. Choose Brendan T. Warfel. I build every home as if my family's going to live in it. My name's going on it. It's going to be done right. I guarantee it. With Brendan T. Warfel, excellence comes standard. Coastal Home Roofing is your source for all your roofing and siding needs. We do not take any down payment. You don't pay until the job is done. Protect your home even further by taking advantage of our lifetime labor warranty. Schedule a free immediate estimate with our team by visiting our website or giving us a call at 866-976-5462. Coastal Home Roofing, Delmarva's roofing and siding experts. Before we get started, there's several things we need to go over. We have to go over the problem with the rain, the winds, obviously this nor'easter that's beginning to move through. But before we get started, I want to encourage you genuinely, and right now, pull out your phone, put it on camera, scan the QR code that's in the corner because we're dealing with the nor'easter right now. This is serious stuff, folks. So we need for you to have this information available for you. Sometimes if there's a, if there's a warning in the middle of the night, which is when I'm expecting all this to really hit, you might not be able to hear something if it's supposed to be, you know, announced in, out in the rural areas, but your phone will be right next to your ears just in case there's a warning in your neighborhood. So please take the time and get this free app so we could possibly even save your life later on tonight, okay? Here's what we're talking about. Flooding rains over two inches, strong damaging winds, maybe even up to 60 mile per hour winds, and coastal problems with flooding and beach erosion. Big time problem. We are just getting started. Uh, nearly a quarter of an inch in Ocean City, approaching a quarter of an inch in Salisbury. Other uh, areas, we have nearly a quarter of an inch in Del Mar, and we have measurable rain already kicking off in Dagsboro, Laurel, Lewis, and Seaford. Once again, we are just getting started. Wind gust picking up as well. Also, 
just getting started. 25 mile per hour wind gust has been recorded in Ocean City and a 24 mile per hour wind gust in Salisbury. The latest with our rain is moving from the south to the north. We're under a flood watch until 6 o'clock Monday. Potential for flooding stays active all night long, particularly witching hour, 2 to 4 o'clock in the morning. That's going to be the worst case scenario. Watch the model when I show you. You'll see what I'm talking about. Also, coastal flood warning, Dorchester, Somerset, Wacomico. That stays in effect until Monday lunchtime for Salisbury, uh, Pittsville, those areas. Now, there's also a flood watch for areas like Ocean Pines, Gray's Corner, West Ocean City and Ocean City until 6 o'clock. And one small little sliver, a great deal of detail, there's a flood advisory for Ackermack and Northampton. This is really for the folks that are to the east of 611, okay? All of that. And then we're also including the gale wind warning along the coast, which means we're watching out for 40 mile per hour winds at the very least. This is the latest look at the rain. Here's where the worst of it's located in the Carolinas. Now, we see it's still away from us because this is over in the Salisbury area. We're looking at Westover, Chrisfield, Oakville getting some heavy downpours. And that same pattern of the rain moving from the south to the north is covering all of Sussex County and Millsboro, Georgetown, Lewis and Rehoboth. Look for wave upon wave of heavy downpours. The winds the flip side of this storm, 25 mile per hour wind gusts coming off of the water, moving inland for some wind gusts that we recorded. What we're expecting, up to 40 mile per hour wind gusts by 1030 tonight. Now watch this. Nearly 50, 51 in Bethany Beach, 47 Ocean City at 3 o'clock in the morning. Now 3.30 in the morning, that's my witching hour thing I've been referring to. 3 o'clock is when I'm expecting the worst of this storm to hit. By the way, Monday lunchtime, more in the way of stormy weather. So let's get to that witching hour thing. 3, 10 o'clock, we're looking at stormy weather. Look at this. I'm going to move right on into 2.30, 3 o'clock in the morning. You see all this red here? This is not supposed to be here. Look real quick now. This is not supposed to be here like this in the middle of the night. This looks more like a springtime day instead of an overnight at 2.30. That's a lot of storm and energy, particularly near Willards at about four o'clock in the morning between Willards and Ocean Pines. I would not be surprised if there are some road closings. We continue with the rain even into the morning time, even though it's going to let up a bit. As far as the amount of rain that we're expecting, we are projected to see up to four inches in some areas. And that's not just in one area. That's along the entire coast. Look at these numbers over three and a half inches of rain in most areas along the coast. So we're looking for heavy rain. So look for that coastal flooding to happen, at least minor along the coast, moderate as you go more inland. This storm is going to move quickly to the north by 530 Monday. It'll move well to the north and out of the way. But the cold side of it looks like it's going to miss us because any kind of snow behind this first hit should move to the north up towards Pennsylvania. OK, we got all that. Here's a look at your extended forecast. We are under a first alert day for today and the first alert day for Monday, but it's mainly Monday morning. OK, after the rain hits, we drop by 20 degrees and we stay cold after this. It's time to light up the season during the Make the Holidays Bright sales event. Get our best offers and choose from a huge selection of Ford F-150 trucks with the capability convenience and technology to help bring us together wow. discover how ford f-150 can make the holidays bright now get 2.9 percent for 72 months plus no payments for 90 days on ford f-150 only at your local ford dealer if you're struggling with your mental health please tell your doctor what you're going through get guidance on living a healthy lifestyle including nutrition and exercise Mental health is just as important as physical health. Your doctor can help with that too. Obesity is a serious health condition, but your primary care physician can help you with your weight loss. Maple Shade recognizes the link between mental and physical health. Let us help you prioritize regular visits with your primary care physician. The beauty is hard to miss at Ocean City's premier golf course, Eagles Landing. Voted the number one golf course in Maryland by our players. Eagles Landing offers five sets of tees, making the course playable for beginners and challenging for most skilled golfers. Local residents receive discounted rates and earn points that can be used for free golf with our local rewards program. Find our best rates at eagleslandinggolf.com today. Eagles Landing, upholding the tradition of the game. 
Do you suffer from back pain, have trouble sleeping, or feel like you're slowing down? Hydrotherapy is clinically proven to reduce stress levels by 22%, lessening pain and improving sleep. At Delaware Hot Tub Company, we have saltwater hot tubs to give you these relaxing health benefits. Our saltwater hot tubs are a simpler, cleaner way to relax, using fewer chemicals and are easier to maintain. Why stress when you can relax? Hot tubs, hotter prices. Visit Delaware Hot Tub Company in Millsboro today and ask about our 0% financing options. Pulling up to a great looking home is nice. Curb appeal is important. But here on the coast, even more important is dock appeal. At TNG Builders, if you can dream it, we can create it. For uncompromising quality, contact TNG Builders to design and build your coastal dream home. Over 30 years of integrity, empathy, and love. TNG Builders, the sign of quality. Visit us online at tg builders.com. The season is here, and with it comes many fun activities for people of all ages to enjoy. One of these are enjoying the holiday lights and decorations put up all over Delmarva. Take a look at your screen. Joe and Linda from Long Neck doing a flat out amazing job. Thank you guys. We would love to see how you decorate your house for the holiday season. Take a look at your screen. You can send us your pictures and videos to coasttvnews.com slash holiday house. The holiday season is here and the Bless Our Children campaign is in full swing. Already we have collected $239,234. That all goes to help provide Christmas for children who otherwise might go without. But as we all know this year, is creating hardship for many more people and the need to help will be even larger. Here's a look at some people who've already helped. Thank you to Bill and Terry Blackford of Milton for your card and donation to our Bless Our Children campaign. As you can see, we've gotten a lot of other donations so far this year. Our Christmas tree is now stuffed full with cards and donations. If you would like to donate to our Bless Our Children campaign, just go to blessourchildren.org. And we're going to take a quick break here, but when we return, our Sunday night football crew breaking down tonight's game. You won't want to miss it. In the world of wires and watts, expert wires lead the charge for your home EV solutions. Get the fastest charging options at home for your electric vehicle with the highest standard of safety and excellence. Remember, leave the wiring to the experts and make it a powerful day. When you step into a luxury bathroom from Coastal Bay Construction, it becomes your sanctuary. Relaxing, refreshing, invigorating. Coastal Bay Construction is your local bath remodeling expert and can help you transform your space into something you'll love. Get the luxury bathroom you want with easy access and services that make cleaning a breeze. Call Coastal Bay for your free quote with two years free financing or $1,200 off your whole bath. If it looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, it's Coastal Bay Construction. From the time that I established Garlic Builders, I instilled certain core values into my company, like I learned in the military. The number one approach that I instill in my team is a client-first mentality. The relationship with the client goes far beyond the construction process. Years down the road, I want to be able to grab a cup of coffee or grab dinner and reconnect. For so many, this has been a dream of theirs to own a beach house, and it brings great joy to us to be able to be that bridge be able to make their dream finally come true. We're a family of builders, growlic builders, homes built with honor. Sam Caligioni here, inviting you to visit Dogfish this off season. Enjoy daily specials at our locations like 12 wings for only $10 on Sundays and wood fire nights every Tuesday and Thursday in Rehoboth at Brewings and Eats. Or check out $15 lobsters on Lobster Sundays next door at Chesapeake and Maine. At Milton's Craft Brewery, visit us weekly for Monday trivia, Tuesday craft cocktail night, and more. Come explore goodness at our Dogfish locations this off season. Cheers. God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember that Kuhn's Jewelers has your back this holiday. From wings to bracelets, earrings to and pendants that are bold. Think of Kuhn's for the silver and the gold. Silver and gold, think of Kuhn's for the silver and the gold. Make a big impression this year with a little box from Kuhn's. Enjoy 20% savings on all jewelry in stock through Christmas as our gift to you. In the world of wires and watts, where safety dances with ingenuity, a select few rise above. At Expert Wire, we're inviting the best, the skilled, the innovators who aren't afraid to connect. Apply now at expertwire247.com. 
It is football night in America, and our crew is ready to break down a game that a lot of fans on Delmarva should be interested in. The Baltimore Ravens, the Jacksonville Jaguars. Let's toss it over to the professionals. Maria Taylor alongside Devin McCourty and Jason Garrett here in the studio. And week 15, we have the Baltimore Ravens going on the road to take on the Jacksonville Jaguars. And the Ravens sitting pretty at 10-3 and three right now. Maria, I love the Ravens. Uh, they are such a complete football team. Defense has been lights out all year long. They can get after the quarterback. They stop the run. Obviously, Lamar is off the charts. And for them to get a tough, gritty win where they had to come from behind and win in overtime, they're impressive. And Jacksonville, still in good position. They control their destiny in this division. Coming off a tough loss, they got to figure out where Trevor Lawrence is and how to get back on the right path. All right, our coverage will start at 7 Eastern. Join us for Football Night in America on NBC and Peacock. Shop local at the Treasure Chest for the gift that means more. Say you care about your friends, family, and community this holiday season with a gift from a trusted family-owned jewelry store for over 40 years. Happy Holidays from the Treasure Chest on Main Street in Berlin. Shop fabulous, fun fashion at Twyla Farrell's in Lewis. Discover stylish and comfortable clothing made from designers you know and love. From head to toe, you can complete your look at Twyla's. A large selection of fashionable shoes, including popular brands such as Piccolino's and Naoto, and trendy winter jackets to keep you warm this winter. We believe in building lasting relationships and always offer honest fashion advice. Come visit us for a unique shopping experience. Shop fabulous, fun fashion at Twyla Farrell's in Lewis. At Morse Roofing and Siding, we feel our team is the best. From our estimators, production and admin management, to our installers and owners, we strive to provide a quality product at an affordable price with exceptional customer service every time. Hi, I'm Tom Morse. And I'm Tommy K. Morse. We are your local family and veteran-owned home exterior renovation contractor right here in Dagsboro, Delaware. Serving Sussex County. There's good. There's better. And, and then, then there's, there's Morse. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. Welcome to the Brush Factory. Explore our over 60 local merchants and artists all together under one roof. You just never know what you'll find at the Brush Factory on Kings. Thank you for thinking of us. We appreciate your support. Elmer's Market, located on Route 404 in Georgetown, open all year round, offers local produce, meats, seafood, and delicious baked goods. We're more than just a produce stand. Take a stroll outside to our garden center. We have plants, shrubs, trees, and decor for the yard. Stop for a selection of unique gifts from local artisans and wreaths for the holidays. Get 10% off your purchase just by mentioning this ad. Elmer's Market, produce, grocery, and garden, bringing you fresh local quality at its best. Shop local at the Treasure Chest for the gift that means more. Say you care about your friends, family, and community this holiday season with a gift from a trusted family-owned jewelry store for over 40 years. Happy Holidays from the Treasure Chest on Main Street in Berlin. A very strong nor'easter that's making its impact along the entire east coast. Thus far, we're seeing some hit and miss heavy downpours that's continued to push throughout the area. We're looking at projections up to about two to even four inches of rain, and we're looking at some wind gusts up to about 45 to 50 miles per hour. The embedded cells are still moving from the south to the north pretty steadily, and we're bringing with us some heavy downpours. We're picking up some small isolated pockets where we could see some of the cells trying to uh, begin to be more impactful. Um, 
as far as moving from the south to the north. One of the storm cells that we're tracking is moving more directly to the north right here in this manner. It's actually going to expect to hit uh, Quantico at about 6. 48, Hebron at about 6.55, Seaford at about 7.23. Already being hit with rain, but some heavier downpours that are indeed on the way. Here's a look at your exclusive Coast TV 10-day forecast. Today is a first alert day. Monday is as well, but mainly in the early morning hours. Thank you, Paul. We'll keep an eye on that. And thank you for joining us for Coast TV News at 6. For more news, more local weather, go ahead and download that Coast TV News app and be sure to join us tonight after the game. Until then, have a great evening.